Man, this is a crazy video to make, honestly. So, y'all read the title, um, so I don't really have too much explaining to do, but I'm gonna give y'all an explanation as to why I'm uh, deciding to drop out of Howard University. So, first and foremost is, um, <laughs> it's kind of funny, I got the bison right there. Um, first and foremost is just the fact that, like, I, I'm personally not much of a party person. Like, I prefer to stay to myself. And most people here like to go out, um, they like to go party, they like to have fun. And um, for me, that's not my idea of fun is going out to clubs and getting drunk and, you know, doing all that. So um, that's one of the first reasons. Like, it's just like, I feel like a lot of the schools oriented in that direction where people just, they glorify the, the, the nightlife. And um, to me, nightlife is just um, superficial. Next reason is um, the academics is just kind of like, and I'm gonna make this I'm gonna make this video really short just because like I really don't feel like explaining myself for real like I'm gonna give y'all an explanation but to the, for the most part it's just like this is a, a personal thing I need to deal with. Wow, this school does have a major that I was attracted to, which is human performance with a focus in sports medicine. Um, the advisors is just very difficult to get in contact with. Um, like super difficult. Like I, I'm a, I'm a junior in college, and I haven't met with my advisor in person once. So, um, you know, I feel like I'm not getting the the treatment that I deserve as a student at Howard University. I feel like I could do better in other places. The third reason is just like the social environment, as I kind of touched on earlier. But like, um, a lot of it is politics. Like I feel like a lot of the people here that have. Um, you know what I'm saying? The pull, the motion, if you will. Um, they're not picked, they're not handpicked per se, but there's a lot of things that go into it more than just like a person's character, if that makes sense. So the fact that um, character isn't the ultimate rating, which it's probably not like this anywhere else, honestly, but it's just kind of sad to see that at HBCU, character is not the only determining factor. That um, has been weighing on me heavily not just recently, but like throughout my Howard experience. The next reason is because Howard's housing situation. Now, as an upperclassman at Howard University, it's extremely difficult to be not only guaranteed housing on campus, but even offered housing on campus. So the fact that I, as a junior in college, have to fend for myself in Washington, D.C. when it comes to like where I'm living and you know, what my living situation will be, whether it's roommates or by myself, which by myself is way too expensive. With roommates is still expensive. Like, it's just not worth it for me financially, me and my family. Um, I just, I don't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like they could be doing better. Like, Howard has all this money and yet the dormitories that they have are, for one, only limited to mostly freshmen and sophomores and two the living facilities are not up to par like there's still mold there's still all these issues that we've been fighting since two three years ago and it's not getting fixed um they're making new apartments but it's not even under howard housing like it's it's in partnership with howard but it's not howard housing if that makes sense so it's just um very discouraging and um uh, not fight not smart financially um when it comes to the type of education i'm getting um next to you know the financials so that brings me to my next point um dc in general like and this is actually like all of dc um it's very expensive to live here especially as a college student and with that like i'm someone that cares very deeply about my health what i put into my body and the water the food that you get here all of it is processed it's unnatural it's damaging so like the water like this is gonna sound crazy to some of y'all and um let me know if some of y'all can relate because i'm sure some of you can that are watching this but when you get out the shower like it damn near smell like the pool because you can smell the chlorine that's in the water that niggas be drinking like this it's really out of it's out of pocket like they're really doing too much and um like as someone that cares about what I put in my body, cause like you don't have a healthy mind without a healthy body. So like the fact that I'm sitting here poisoning myself every single day, the Howard food is not healthy. The 
food in the area is not that healthy. If it is healthy, it's expensive. The water is crap unless you buy bottled water, but then you're dealing with microplastics. Like, there's just so much going on. Like, it's really just, it's, it's a lot to think about. It's kind of stressful. And, um, yeah. And the last and final reason as to why I'm deciding to leave Howard University is because, um, Bro, it's April fools. Y'all really thought I was gonna leave? <laughs> oh my! I had y'all in the first half. Did I? Did, let me let me know down below if I had you in the first half. You feel me? Um, this is my first ever April Fools video. My birthday is in April, so it's only right that I, you know, what I'm saying I do it the due diligence of making an April Fools video every season. You already know what the heck going on, boy. Um, but yeah, with that being said, <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed. More videos on the way, as always. We going up 2023, man. Um, April Fools. Love y'all.